This is what the lava tube looks like when your flashlight goes out on you. But when your flashlight is working, this is what the lava tube looks like. This is the ceiling. And the tube continues on down this way. I'm in the Thunderbolt lava tube and this has an odd formation. The lava tube extends under it and over it. I don't know what caused this blockage right here. It's pretty narrow underneath. I'm not going to crawl under there. And I'm not going to crawl over it either. But this lava tube does continue on farther on down. I'm not sure how far it goes, but I do have a bit of a airflow behind me, a small breeze of it, as it were. So there must be some opening farther on down, which allows for this airflow. And I'm going to head out of the Thunderbolt lava tube. I'm the only person down here that I know of. It's advisable to wear a helmet in these lava tubes because the ceilings can get low and you don't want to bump your head. Right now I am crouching over to keep my head from bumping on the ceiling here. When you go through these lava tubes alone, you want to bring plenty of flashlights. I've got three with me. I've got this little headlamp that I'm using, plus two spare flashlights. This is the Golden Dome lava tube, the entrance, and it's a pretty steep little climb down there. I'm in the Golden Dome lava tube, and I've reached a point where I can either continue down the main lava tube here, or I can take a side trip down this tube. In these lava tubes, there's just a network of tubes and some of them will just wind in and out of each other. So I'll uh, continue into this tube here and see where it goes. I continued down the side tube and it reaches this point where it veers off to the left here and just goes on up here to some little tubes Gosh, I don't know if that's the main tube up there or not, but going on back, the side tube continues on down here, and again, the tube splits off into two different areas. Got this tube right up here, and then a this tube right here. So these tubes just go everywhere. That little tube up there just kind of narrows out. I don't know where it goes. OK, 
Okay, and this tube goes, I don't know, I think it stops up there. I'm leaving the side tube I went down, coming out into the main tube, and hanging a right. And again, this is the main tube here. It's really important to remember where you were so you don't get disoriented. This looks like it might be the end of the Golden Dome lava tube. But then again, there's a side tube over here that goes who knows where. I'm taking this side tube and it does continue on. Although it flows uphill, not downhill. Which tells me it may come from a, another opening somewhere. Don't know. Continues on up that way. And there's another little side tube over there. And I'm continuing up this lava tube. It goes uphill. Continues on over there. And then, let's see. Hey, I'm back where I was earlier. I remember that little marking there. So I have gotten myself turned around in this lava tube. And I'm really not quite sure where I am, but I'm sure I'll find my way out. No problem. Continuing on down here. I can't say that I'm lost in this lava tube. I'm just a little bewildered right now. But that little, looks like a marking. It looks man-made. Somebody put it there some time ago. But I saw that earlier, then I turned around and went back up the side tube, went down the main tube, wound around, and ended up at the same spot. So again, there's just a maze of tubes down here, and I have wound up in this spot again, and I'm just going to turn around and make my way back out. Okay, I'm back on track. This is a side tube that I originally went down. So to get out of the lava tube, just continue up this way. The floor of the lava tubes can be pretty rough in spots. Um, we have cleared away a lot of the rocks for these pathways. But still, you gotta do some climbing over them. There's some light up there, so that is the entrance. The ceiling is dropping down here, and I'm reaching the end of this lava tube. It ends right over there. I'm in the Hercules leg lava tube and I went on a side tube and came to this point and there's a lava flow here that runs downhill and it goes into that little opening there. But you definitely don't want to crawl down into that little area. I'm in the Hercules leg lava tube and there's this side tube that brought me to this point. There's this little opening where the lava flows downhill and it flows into that little area there and keeps on going. Um, definitely don't want to crawl into that tight spot down there. But uh, there's just a maze of lava flows in these tubes. I'm in Skull Cave and this is a large lava tube. I don't know exactly how high the ceiling is, 
but I'm going to guess probably from the floor over there up to the ceiling. I don't know. I'm going to guess about 60 feet or so.